Hello, hi everybody, and welcome to a new series of tutorials on LK from Imaginando. So before I start, I would like to say a big thank you to Nuno for giving me the opportunity to review LK. So what is LK? LK is a clip launcher, but also a MIDI sequencer. It works as a standalone, but it also works as a UV3, as you can see here, as a audio in unit instance inside a UM. Um, but it can do much, much more than that. And as you would expect uh, from the same developer which has developed DRC, which I'm also using in this demonstration. And as you know, I've done a lot of other videos. DRC is really fantastic and authentic. So what's going on here? It's um, um, the first video in the series. So I'm going to go through the entire functionality of LK as I've done for DSC and also frames from Imaginando. Um, so I'm inside AUM, I have a LK as a MIDI processor here, and then I have a number of instances as you can see here for DSC one for a plaque sound, one from a bass sound. I have a Ruiz maker for some drums, I have created another type of ARP sounds where I have applied a number of effects as well and also another, again, DRC lead type of sound. So let's go inside the LK to have a look at it. As, um, as you can see, straightforward interface, really nice, clear. It is really much more than uh, a simple MIDI sequencer or clip launcher. But before I go into a little bit the introduction of the user interface, let me give you straight away a demonstration of what you can achieve. And bear in mind that this small uh, composition has been done uh, entirely using LK, using the also noise generator, which is really quite cool. So let's start. Okay, as you have heard, I've created a number of tracks, which is what you can see in the screen, which is called the metrics. And then I've created um, a number of scenes, as I will explore in more tutorials. And this is where you can launch your clip as you like, as I demonstrated, I was uh, uh, moving from, uh, um, I was activating one clip at a time and also moving down on the drum on the, for different scenes. Um, it is uh, quite quite nice and simple as an interface, but you in main screen you find this little symbol here, and as you click and hold, you can reveal, for example, in this case, the composer, where you see all your notes, where you can do a lot of other things, like looking at the clip properties, selecting scale, choosing rhythms, looking at note tools, automatically generates chords, melody, and so on. You can even automate as well. So nice to have a nice piano role where you can create your own composition. And as you can see, you can move up and down. You have also a MIDI pad, which is really nice, which you can use the pad to play instrument, which are connected by the appropriate channel. You see all the settings here. 
And again, you can find additional settings for this screen here. So you can change the expression here. You can have an arpeggio, etc. So really, really, really nice. We have a, a controller. You can control up to 128 parameters. During the demonstration, which I just ran, I was controlling here on the first on this bar, on this slider. I was controlling effectively uh, the frequency um, of uh, the low pass filter, which was here. This low pass filter on channel number five. Um, going back to um, LK and maximizing the screen. So you have also an XY part, which comes really handy. And again, you can configure it as you like. You can use it to uh, do uh, doing practically cross modulation um, for CC messages, but also for notes. Like in this case, you can have notes here, pitch on the X um, axis, a velocity on the Y axis, and also note on and off in the Z axis. Really nice. You also have a coda or a cob where you can play different chords. And again, you name it, you can choose all your configuration, change your layout, the preset, still having your arpeggio, zoom in and out. So really a lot of features. And finally, you also have a keyboard. And I use this live to play a couple of notes on uh, channel number five, where I have that um, lead. So a really, really clever, MIDI sequencer and it makes the perfect integration well with Ableton um, if of course you are using it so this is a great addition to um, your music production tools I highly recommend it I hope you enjoyed and see you at the next tutorial thank you bye